Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today, guys, I'm checking out Vader Episode 1, Shards of the Past, a Star Wars Theory fan film created by, of course, Star Wars Theory. Now, for the past couple of days, I've been debating with myself whether or not to react to this, and the reason why, I'm not going to get into all of it, is I'm in the process right now of creating my own trilogy of Star Wars fan films. The first one's already out, Darth Zahn, a Star Wars fan film, currently writing the second, and we're planning on doing the third to create the trilogy. And I don't want any Star Wars fan films or series that I watch to influence me or persuade me to do something different in my story that I'm already planning now because they do something in theirs. I'm like, oh god, that's amazing. I want to do that instead. And then I just copy. And I, I'm obviously don't want to do that. I don't want to be influenced or persuaded. And when I put out this argument, some of you guys responded with your counter arguments about the differences and how this really shouldn't influence you. For me, at the end of the day, I need to look at this as something to support because it's it's a fan film. It's a, another Star Wars fan who's went out and did, did this and did something, and I should support it and not think so much about how it could influence me because I, I should know not to do that. So I'm not going to look at this as a way to possibly take ideas. I'm going to look at this as this is a fan that created what I'm hearing is an awesome episode with this Vader thing, episode one, and look at it as another fan doing something amazing for the Star Wars franchise because, you know, the Star Wars fandom right now is kind of divided because there's a lot of people that don't like what Disney's doing, people that do like what Disney's doing, and we have fans like this that are just putting out awesome content and uh, we can enjoy it as Star Wars fans. So, without further ado, let's get into now, Vader Episode 1, Shards of the Past, let's go. Make sure the volume's up. Let's see. Yeah, it should, it should be good. Far, far away. Okay. Eight months. Is this eight months after Revenge of the Sith? Stupid TV. Okay. I'm liking the... The build up. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, shit. Holy crap, what is going on? I'm liking the, how this. Oh shit! I'm liking this opening. Oh. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit! He's still choking whoever that is. Is that Palpatine? Oh, it is. Holy crap. So, okay, so... Ooh. Damn, dude. He's going right at him. That's a good voice. Oh, good move.
Dude, look at this shot! Holy shit! That is awesome! Wow. I like the fact that they're doing this. Well, this is not going your way, Vader. You thought it would be, but... Oh. Wait. Are you implying that Vader's strong in the Palpatine with this? Because he was able to stop that? I don't know. He's not... He's, he can't be dead, is he? I like the Vader suit. That's really good. I don't think he's dead, isn't he? I don't think so. Mm. Oh. What? Interesting, okay. Wow. I didn't expect this. Shards of the past, I guess I should have guessed. Wow. I never thought I would see Vader hug somebody. But now here we are. Oh, okay. I like the voice. The voice is pretty, pretty good. <laughs> the face. Damn. Wow. Oh. My lord. Ooh. Proceed. The Emperor demands your presence at once. So this, that was all a dream? I guess. Lord Vader? Or a nightmare. As he wishes. I like the voice for Vader, too. It's pretty close to James Earl Jones. That is a cool shot. And it does resemble how burnt he is from Revenge of the Sith. I like how that, I was like, is this really happening? I like that it was a dream, but it got really intense. Are you now? Okay. 
testing him. Strike me down. He's like, no. Mm -hmm. Who stands in your way, Lord Peter? That's a good question. You, you do. Keeps you subjected at the grip within that armor. Anyone? If so, only your hate will eradicate. It's like he he wants him to do it. Use it. He wants him to do it. But he won't do it. I cannot, my master. This way my disappointment with you grows by the second. Embrace the choices that have brought you here. Revel. Embrace them, okay. Forever live in the shadow of Anakin Skywalker. Now, I have a task for you, my elder princes. I like the throne. There's a great disturbance in the force. A powerful Jedi survives in a mid rim. Hmm. Mmm. And of course, that of the late Queen Padme Amidala. It is no coincidence. He draws you there because he knows who you are, Lord Peter. Mm. The clones that report he wields an Amethyst blade. Wait. How is that possible? Power. That's how. I'm messing with my phone. And you and I both know. This particular Jedi wields a great deal of it. I will finish what we started. Master. I think I have an idea who they're talking about. Yeah. I think. I wonder. Mm. I'm liking this exchange between them. Exchange, that's the word. Pledge yourself to the dark side fully, Lord Vader. I think he's pretty much pledged himself. Only then will you be able to cast off the chains that bind you. And achieve a power as never before. Only then will you be able to destroy the rival before you. Mm. But I will not fail, Master. He senses that Anakin is not fully committed. Or Darth Vader. Wow, this... I, I don't know what I was expecting, but like... This thing got pretty damn... Okay. But this thing got... There's some emotional beats and stuff in here and the confrontation and the discussion between Palpatine and Vader. I was... I don't... Different than I expected. In a good way. I, li I like how things can surprise me. Wow, that is a cool shot. Wow. The visual effects are top-notch in this. I really dig it. What was that? Probably didn't hear that. There's an explosion. <laughs> the fuck was that? Ooh. Oh, who's down there? I have I have an idea. Amethyst. Awesome. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to let this run out. I'm going to look this up on my phone. Amethyst lightsaber. Mace Windu. Is Mace Windu going to be in this? It's like Amethyst. Like, is that purple? I think. And I had to look at Amethyst lightsaber. And the third thing pops up is fucking... Mace Windu. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna let this run out um, until the end because I, I don't want to cut through all the credits or, or pause before the credits because 
this was really well done. Like, this actually makes me jealous because, I mean, look, I, I think me and my friends did a pretty good job on our Star Wars fan film with with the stuff that we had available. But Jesus, this was good. I love that you threw in curveballs throughout this because I was expecting Vader mowing down people and just being Vader, you know, being that, you know, dark guy that we know him to be and what they kind of portrayed in 4, 5, and 6. Well, in 6, towards the end, we start to understand more that, of course, he's the father, and we found that in 5, and then 6 is about trying to save his father. Luke is trying to save his dad. But this, it's like you're covering that Vader is, he's newly Vader, because it says eight months after Anakin Skywalker's been dead, so it's eight months after. And that whole first sequence where he's, like, fighting clones and he's fighting, you know, what, uh, fucking uh, officers or whatever, yeah. Um, and he's, like, stopping all of their blasts and f reflecting it back, just destroying everybody. And, like, who the fuck is he choking out? He's choking out Palpatine. And it, it's all a dream, but what I like is that he kills Palpatine. And then he sees Padme, and I'm guessing the young boy that that, that was Anakin. I, that's pretty. I think that's pretty obvious. And then it's like, oh, he's talking to Padme. He's hugging Padme. I'm like, oh. And then it turns out it's actually Palpatine tricking him. And when he was able to stop the Force lightning, I'm like, is, are you saying that Vader's stronger than Palpatine? And then it, it's all a dream. So, is that is is that gonna? I'm guessing that is gonna tie back into something later because that tells me that. Vader knows that Vader knows that Palpatine, you know, did all of this, made all these promises and none of it came true. Or is it just a bad nightmare and he's not sure what to believe? But I mean, obviously this is not canon, but I like that you're covering some heavily canon stuff and you're, you allow this confrontation, but it's not real. But throughout the whole entire thing, Palpatine, when they're actually, it's actually really happening the second like the second time they meet the, the real first time they're actually interacting in the film that it's not a dream palpatine's constantly saying you need to embrace the decision I, the line i'm trying to remember exactly it's embrace the decisions that got you here in terms of you need to embrace that you are now a sith lord you are darth vader you are no longer anakin skywalker um how much more do we got that's oh, it's pretty much done okay i'm gonna go back to that logo and pause it there May the force be with you. Love that. Okay, that is awesome, dude. I, I, I when is episode two gonna come out? Any idea? I, I really, <laughs> really digging it. Um, but I like the twist, the twist, the twists and turns. Now, I'm excited for Mace Windu. Is that is that legit? Is that actually happening? Because I really want to see Mace. That'd be really cool because it's been discussed for a while that Mace Windu's not. He didn't die at the end of three or in the middle, whenever it happened. I'm trying to remember. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the third episode. Um, but it would be amazing if like this, because I don't know anybody else with a purple lightsaber in Canon. So I'm guessing it's Mace Windu. And I'm guessing that you have some really juicy dialogue between Viz. If Mace Windu knows that Anakin is Vader, that changes a lot of things. Clearly it's not Canon. That's fine. But to me as a fan, it's exciting to think about Mace Windu confronting Vader, knowing it's Anakin, and then having a fight that go down. And I'm guessing Mace Windu is going to die by that. But regardless, it's it's really cool because it's something we'll probably never see in canon is Vader versus Mace Windu or just having a conversation because, you know, the Jedi were trying their hardest and looking for the Sith Lord in the uh, prequels. He's right there. He's right there in connection with you guys, and you had no clue that's Palpatine. You had no idea that was Darth Sidious. You had no idea. So, they failed. The whole point of the, the, the prequel trilogy is that the Jedi failed. The Jedi failed. And so, to have Mace Windu still alive, with one arm missing, <laughs> fighting Vader, I'm guessing he have a robotic arm. Or maybe he's, he's just one-armed. Maybe he never got that fixed. But that's exciting. This is really exciting. And the visuals are spot on. They are so good. It, 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 it makes me look. It, I'm looking at the visuals going, man, the lightsaber effects look really, really good. Definitely want to try to get my lightsaber effects for my own personal Star Wars stuff uh, for the fan films to look better. Um, and the voice acting was really good. The voice acting. The, the Vader, sometimes some of the lines were not as James Earl Jonesy. Like, that's, not even a, that's not even how you phrase that. 
But the voice was pretty good for Vader. I really liked the voice for Palpatine. Um, the actor you got for Palpatine was pretty good, and the suit was awesome for Vader. I really liked that. Um, but the opening of the movie is crazy because it throws you for a loop. He's like, wait, he's not fighting rebels. He's fighting clone troopers. What the hell's going on here? Um, I, I didn't expect him to be choking out Palpatine. But the dialogue in between the two main characters, Vader and Palpatine, was great. And, of course, I, I, I'm pretty sure he said he, he was going to Naboo, too. So he's going there for a reason as well because Vader was sent there. Not sure why he is going there, too, but Palpatine apparently is going to Naboo. Maybe he has a surprise of his own that we don't know about. But I like the fact that this – you're calling it a Star Wars Theory fan film. It's episode one, so clearly you're going to be doing episodes. It could be seen as a series, my guess is, when it's all finished. But – this is a really awesome thing, and, I, and the title shards of the past. That's great. It, it makes sense because he's thinking he's having that that nightmare sequence, seeing Padme and and, and young Anakin himself, and having the voice right as he turns around before we see the lightsaber going on under uh, the building they're in or whatever. And uh, Pat, I mean, she's like Anakin, not Padme. Padme doesn't say Padme. Padme says Anakin, and he stops. He's still thinking about that. And it would make sense why he would still think about her and stuff in, in his his past life, essentially, is because it recently just happened. So it would make sense that he's still thinking about that. But this was awesome. I'm really glad I did check it out. Um, Top-notch stuff. This is fucking awesome. And apparently, from what I understood, they, they premiered this at a theater or something. And apparently, the, the, the reaction was pretty awesome from people there who saw it in theaters. But this was pretty damn good. I'm really glad I checked it out. But I'm curious to know what you guys thought about this uh, fan film, this uh, Vader episode one, Shards of the Past. Did you? Uh, what were some of your favorite parts? For me personally, I think the uh, the conversation between Vader and Palpatine in the dream sequence, Nightmare, as I call it, and the actual and then them actually talking is pretty good. The visual effects are spot on, and I'm really excited about this whole idea of Mace Windu possibly showing up in episode two. So there you have it. That's my reaction. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.